Ja, und zum herzlich willkommen zurück zu Cyberpunk 2077. Wir haben ja hier das letzte Mal einen NCPD-Auftrag erledigt und ein paar Sträflinge erledigt. Ähm ich muss dazu sagen, ich habe schon ein bisschen weitergespielt, allerdings hatte ich da sehr viele Standprobleme. Ähm, da der Patch 2.02 rauskam und irgendwie da was mit den Mods nicht ganz funktionierte. Daher muss ich das ganze Spiel neu installieren und äh, ja, einfach alles noch was ausprobieren. Und daher sind wir wieder hier und ich würde sagen, wir gehen jetzt einfach zu Takemura und schauen mal, wie es in der Story weitergeht. Ähm, oben rechts sieht man gerade die FPS-Anzeige, die habe ich gerade nur drin, um zu schauen, ob alles wirklich gut funktioniert. Ich habe es zwar ausgetestet und es sollte eigentlich auch funktionieren und die Sound-Bugs ähm, sollten draußen sein. Aber ich lasse es trotzdem kurz mal noch an, um zu schauen, ob das wirklich alles gut funktioniert. Kurz mal unseren Junk verkaufen. Vielleicht auch kurz mal die Waffen. sind alles eigentlich nur Waffen, die... Wait. Da haben wir was viel Besseres. Ah ne, die ist auch grün. Ich muss bloß aufpassen, dass ich da nicht irgendwie was Falsches zerlege. Schauschützengewehre haben wir bloß nur eins. Ah ne, jetzt ist es die richtige, okay. Weird. Da haben wir die. Die ist eigentlich ziemlich doof. Ich weiß, wir haben auch noch einen Levelaufstieg, den ich hier eigentlich äh, machen könnte. Aber lasse ich gerade mal kurz außen vor. Liberty hat wahrscheinlich die gleiche Funktion. So, das reicht erstmal. Weiter geht's. Ab zu Takemura. Äh, 950 Meter. Ich würde mal kurz ein Auto nehmen. Oder ein Motorrad. mittlerweile auch einen anderen Reshade drin und auch noch ein 
eine Wettermod, die ein bisschen alles besser aussehen lässt. Auch das Wasser ist mittlerweile blau und nicht so komisch grünlich. Ich denke mal, es sieht alles ganz okay aus. Allerdings, die Distance, äh, Render Distance Mod finde ich irgendwie nicht so gut. Die lässt trotzdem mal sehr aufploppen, wie ich finde. Da muss ich noch eine andere Mod finden, die das besser macht. Aber ansonsten funktioniert alles, würde ich sagen. Da sind wir auch schon. Playing for time. Can we please stop talking about Sid. Hallo. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car. I doubt it you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Klar bin ich das. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorino Arasaka severely. For the crime he has committed. Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Hm. Ich vertraue ihm irgendwie immer noch nicht ganz. Auch wenn er uns das Leben gerettet hat. Aber er war ja auf der Seite von Yorinobu. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? <laughs> that he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain... Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. Huh. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. 
Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, uh, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. By taking our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. Der hat's dir gezeigt. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need... Time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm. But why is it Nie vom Erdboden verschluckt. Weißt du etwa, wo er ist? There's no time hmm, to waste, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Kein Wunder bei deinem Benehmen. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind to most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Helmut. I wish you luck. The woman is choosy. 
expensive and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Vielleicht, wenn ich das tun. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hm. Wir sind abgeschlossen, playing for time. Neue Mission, Automatic Love. Ruf Judy an, um zu nahe, finde Evelyn in Lizzie's Bar. Neue Mission, Ghost Town. Das ist ein Split. Das ist eine Bar. Lass mich da hinter. Okay, ich glaube, das geht nicht. Schade. Sorry, Tom. Gut. Wie schon gesagt, ich vertraue diesem Takemura immer noch nicht ganz. Und das, was da mit Johnny abläuft, I don't know. Uh, hey, how's it going? Aber mir fiel gerade noch ein. Wir könnten mal schauen, ob die Leiche von Dex noch auf dem Schrottplatz ist, falls ich das finden würde. Da mich das interessieren würde, ob dort irgendwas zu finden ist. Vielleicht mache ich das gleich mal als nächstes. Mal schauen. Coole Gegend hier. Aber ziemlich laut und... Alles durcheinander. 
ganzen Geräusch schon Zeit. Hey, look. No. Interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. Was? Seltsames Graffiti. Das sieht aus wie eine Tarotkarte der großen Arcana. Der Wagen. Kann man das irgendwo kann man das glaube ich nachschauen? Tarot. Der Wagen strebt stets nach vorne, obwohl seine Rösser ihn in verschiedene Richtungen ziehen. Der Fahrer, der ihn lenkt, muss ständig die hellen und dunklen Seiten seiner Seele mit der Hilfe seines Verstandes zügeln. Im Wagen zu fahren bedeutet Gutes und Schlechtes, Höhen und Tiefen zu erleben. Ach du Scheiße. Da gibt's ein paar. Wir haben einfach mal über 90.000 Eddies. Sehr nice. Ich würde sagen, damit war's das schon wieder mit dieser Folge. Leider nicht so viel erlebt. Ziemlich viele Gespräche gehabt. Aber, ja. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal bei Cyberpunk 2077. Haut rein. Tschüss. Buddy, I got you. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Samurai. We have a city to burn.